in terms of feeding nutrition fluids and feeding go hand in hand so when you plan something you always plan the sequence it's very important to encourage use of express breast milk right from birth even if the baby is not stable for trophic feeds even you can do oral colostrum care so if there is no express breast milk we wait 24 to 48 hours in the extreme premature babies these babies are not going to progress quickly and starting formula in the initial phase may be uh, not ideal so we wait for the express breast milk up to 48 hours and uh, if we get drops we start the oral care if we are not starting TPN don't delay starting feeds especially where only a phase progress is possible like in the babies less than 32 weeks who are little on the bigger side we have a separate video on trophic feeds and I would ref refer you to watch that as well so the word trophic feeds is used when we are using the feeds mainly to prime the gut to support the enteral hormone system and the maturation of the mucosa as well as impact on the healthy gut flora when to start increasing feeds will be a clinical decision based on the overall stability evidence of gut motility like bubble opening and whether the baby is responding to the glycerin suppository where there is no spontaneous bubble opening for example this happens every one to three days in most babies but longer in post op babies or extreme preterm babies and sometimes in the extreme premature babies we may have to give uh, gastrographin as a wash for example where it lubricates the gut and the stools come out and then the baby starts tolerating feeds better in terms of increasing the feeds once you decide that the baby can come out of the trophic feeding phase most units increase 15 to 20 ml per kilo per day in babies less than 1000 grams and a faster rate of 20 to 30 ml per kilo per day in babies over 1000 grams once they start progressing after the babies tolerate around 60 ml per kilo per day we could go to the higher end of this rate in both the groups and uh, start human milk fortifier when we are on 80 to 100 ml per kilo per day we start with half strength and then move on to full strength fortifier within a day or two we can wean the TPN off during this period when the total fluid intake of 160 to 180 ml per kilo per day once we reach 130 ml per kilo per day we can skip the TPN and just give clear fluid to meet the fluid requirements and then when we reach the full feeds we usually keep the central line uh, till we reach full feeds and we remove the line after that